two and a half. No, no, this really is small. How high it is. Oh, hello? No. Oh, see, I'm measuring my desk. How high this is. Desk. I think maybe if I had a bigger desk, more important. You know, our friend Theodore was wondering about feeling more important. Just and then, something very surprising happened to him. It all began at the morning work meeting. Thatcher was telling the Tugs their jobs for the day. Today, important job for you. There is a Thatcher turned to Theodore. Today, you'll be replacing broken marker buoys. That is all. <laughs> Hank set off. But Theodore began to think. wanted the kind of job that George and Fodok had. A more important job, Theodore himself. A bit later, Theodore and Hank were working. Replacing broken marker buoys around the together a lot, and they even have a special whistle signal to each other. It, it doesn't really mean anything. Hello, I'm happy. It was their own special whistle for each other. That evening, as the sun was sailing out to sea, Theodore and Hank were talking about their day. Marker buoys are a lot heavier than they look, aren't they, Hank? Theodore was saying. Which is a small fish. It's a big fish. We did a good job together, Theodore. Hey, Theodore, agreed Hank. The two tugs felt great. It always seemed that being together and talking about things together was as much fun as doing. Well, said Hank sleepily. It was a nice day. Good night, Theodore. Good night, Hank, replied Theodore. It was a nice day. Theodore glanced over at the other side of the dock, where George and Foda were resting. They always get important jobs, Theodore. I wish I could be a more important tugboat. They started to float back to their regular places at the Great Ocean Tug and Salvage Company dock. That's when George turned to Theodore and said the most surprising thing. Theodore, do you want to dock beside me? Well, I was very surprised. Because always this side was the more important side of the dock. You see, George is an ocean tug, and he always docks with the other ocean tugs, Emily and Fodok. And as a harbor tug, Theodore was always docked with the other harbor tug, Hank. Emily is away on an ocean job, explained George. So the place beside me is empty. But, said Theodore, I'm not an ocean tugboat. Not yet. Oh, that's okay, said George. You have been the tug in charge here in the big harbor before. Now that was true, thought Theodore. That was pretty important. So Theodore happily agreed to dock beside George. Where are you going, Theodore? It was Hank. Oh, uh, just over to the other side of the dock. Trying to sound like it really wasn't that important at all. I'm, uh, I'm going to dock tonight, said Hank. We always dock together. It's, uh, uh, it's just for tonight, Hank, repeated Theodore. Uh, because, because Emily's away. Because, um, well, George asked me to. Theodore settled into his new place like George. It does seem nicer on this side of the dock, Theodore himself. He could even see all the way past Benjamin Grin. Was the special feeling Theodore had of being with the bigger ocean tugs. It made him feel special, more important. The next morning, Ocean tugs, and wouldn't you know, that 
day, the dispatcher chose Theodore for an important job. He'd be working with George, moving a giant oil rig. Hank was sent to replace broken marker boys again. See you later, Theodore. As Theodore and George were magical to Theodore, how just changing his place at the dock had seemed to change him. He was already feeling like a more important tugboat. Theodore was so excited that he made his special whistle signal. Just to say, hello, I'm happy. He hadn't heard Theodore's special whistle before, and he thought it might be a special kind of emergency whistle. So he tried to stop the oil ring right away. Oh, that! It's a special signal, said Theodore quickly. Hank always answers back. It's just for fun. Well, said George crossly, this is an important job. It's not supposed to be fun. From now on, use only the regular whistle signals. Theodore felt bad about giving George the wrong signal. But then he thought, I guess more important tugboats don't have special whistle signals because they're happy anyway. Hank was floating quietly at his place at the dock when Theodore returned from working with George. Theodore turned off his engine so he could slip silently past Hank to his new place. He might be resting, Theodore thought to himself. Theodore, you're going to dock with George again? Asked Hank quietly. Oh, replied as if he was deciding right then and there. Maybe just tonight. Emily still isn't back. Oh, that's a... He was quiet for a moment, then he said, Theodore, are you still my friend? Sure I am, Hank, answered Theodore, trying to sound convincing. It's just that, it's just that, well, things are different now. Hank stared at Theodore. Theodore stared back at Hank. Theodore wanted to talk with George all about their exciting day, moving the giant oil rig together. Oil rigs are a lot heavier than they look, began Theodore. Oh, I moved a giant super tanker all by myself once, said George, cutting Theodore off impatiently. Much heavier than oil rigs. Well, said Theodore, still, we did a really good job together. We're a good team, and we... But George cut... Tankers are the heaviest ships on the ocean. And then... George began to tell Theodore all about moving that super tanker, talking louder and louder and blowing up more and more smoke to get a... In fact, Theodore couldn't really talk to George at all. All he could do was listen, listen, and cough in George's smoke. No whistle signals when I'm happy, and now I can't even talk about the things that happened today. Being a more important tugboat wasn't turning out to be as good as he had imagined. Theodore quietly over to his new set the dock. Called Theodore Sire. No, he... Good night, Theodore. Thanks. Even though he knew, Theodore couldn't hear him. just waking up when he saw a sight that made his heart it was he's back said to George oh I get a dog here beside you look disappointed but in very relieved oh said George there's lots of room here huh. you can dock beside me forever well Theodore just stared at George he didn't say a word he couldn't say a word he had a big lump in his throat. Forever? That was a long... A little later, Theodore helped George take a ship out of the park. 
Theodore couldn't stop thinking about living on... He wanted to be a more important boat, and he thought that's where more important tugboats have their... But now, a few... just didn't make him feel happy. In fact, right now, Theodore felt sad. Just then, he heard a whistle, a special whistle. Hello, I'm happy. Replacing another broken marker boy. Theodore didn't want to whistle back. He was afraid George would get upset again. But somehow, just hearing Hank's whistle made Theodore feel a little better. After Theodore had finished work, he stayed behind in the harbor. He was being more important and about as more important but mostly Mr. Hank the other tubs were all at the great ocean dock Theodore was headed towards the, the ocean tub of the dock now to Hank it looked like about the day's adventures. Hank turned sadly towards his part of the dock. Was a whistle. Special whistle. Hank whistled back and slowly looked around. Theodore, what are you doing here? Oh, replied Theodore, as if it really didn't matter as much as it did. Oh, I, I thought I'd come back to my old place at the dock right here. But it, it said Hank sadly. More important ones like George. Well, I was just telling George, replied Theodore, that all the tugboats are important to me. Me too, said Hank with a smile in his voice. Theodore slid into his old place at the dock beside him. Good night, Theodore. Good night, Hank, said Very nice day. And I think tomorrow, better. You know, the next day, Theodore, George, and Hank all worked together. And they discovered that the most important feeling of all was the feeling of being good friends. Now, what was I doing? I was doing something. Oh, yes, I was measuring my desk. Oh, I made this dent when I dropped the plate of sea biscuits on here. See, the first time I made sea biscuits, they were a little hard. The second drawer that squeaks. This desk is important, but I really do like it. Now, we're going to get back to work.